So we just run out of sauerkraut in the fridge. So I've got this latest one down from my shelf that's been fermenting for about a month. You can see that the water level's gone down. Originally it was right up the top, but there's not much water in there anymore. I've got my pickle pebbles just holding the cabbage down and I'm going to do an unboxing of my sauerkraut. So there are the pickle pebbles. I'm just gonna take those out. I've got two in here. That keeps all this under the brine. And then you can see here's my cabbage leaf that I cut into the shape of the rim of my jar, which has kept all of those little bits of cabbage underneath brine. Sometimes I do more than one cabbage leaf to try and fit the space properly. You can see here I have three. Don't throw these away because these are beautifully fermented and these can be eaten. And then underneath you can see my crown. There's not that much brine visible, but these actually dripped when I got them out, the cabbage leaves. So it's been under there and you can see there's no discoloration. Sometimes the top, if it doesn't have brine on it, it won't go mouldy necessarily, but it often goes darker in colour. But This is still a nice colour. And here we have the crown. I'm about to put this with some um, stew, which has been made with osso buco and some sourdough bread for lunch.